Well, it's that day. It's finally here. Creekside and Bartram Trail, the Battle of Longleaf Pine, the day we've had circled on our calendars all year is finally back. Creekside hasn't beaten Bartram Trail since 2014. They've lost seven straight to the Bears, but after coming in, losing on a last second field goal last year, they look to turn the tides, prove they are no longer little brother out here under the lights on their home field. It is gonna be a great matchup tonight and we have got a great show lined up for it. I talk with two night seniors about what it's like to compete in this fierce rivalry, as well as the star on the other side, Sharif Denson, the Florida commit corner, got the pick that led to the game winning drive for the Bartram Trail Bears last year. All that and more coming up next here on Creekside Game Day. Looking to his left, he's looking deep for Reynolds, he's got it! He's fine. Just to his left, and oh, Wadley Paris is picked off! It's picked off! It's a pick six! Oh! Ford on the run, looking down the field, he's got it! Jim Reynolds inside the 10! It's time for Creekside Game Day. Today's episode of Creekside Game Day is sponsored by That One Painter First Coast. That painter you need, we're the one. Call that one painter today at 904-417-3557. Hello, I'm your host Noah Schlicksup and we got a great episode lined up for you today as I mentioned before the intro, but normally I'd start off with the matchup breakdown, but since this is a special occasion, I made a trip up to Creekside practice to ask the players what college rivalry they compare Creekside and Bartram to. Let's take a look, got some pretty good answers. What college rivalry would you compare Bartram and Creekside to? Ohio State, Ohio State, Michigan, baby. Uh, FSU or Florida? Uh, definitely Florida, FSU. Florida, Georgia. Texas, Oklahoma. Which one would you say? College rivalry, Creekside, Bartram. Probably uh, Alabama and Auburn. Alabama and Auburn. Bartram, Creekside, its own beast. Some interesting responses there, but out of that bunch, I'm going to have to agree with Anthony Akel, say Michigan and Ohio State. Not much compares to that college rivalry and not much compares to the one we'll see tonight between Creekside and Bartram Trail. Now on to my matchup breakdown and man, this could be a classic in tonight's game. These teams come in with just one combined loss, Creekside with even extra motivation after losing on a last second field goal to Bartram Trail last year. I think for Creekside, the offense is going to get this job done against a really tough Bartram Bears defense in tonight's game but I see no reason to think why they won't. I mean, you look at what they've done against some really tough defenses. They've gone out and run up the score. You look at games like Buholtz, they're 5-0, and and Creekside went up, put up 41 against the Bobcats, 27 coming in the second half alone. That 41 total is more than all other opponents who face Buholtz have put up against them combined. If the Knights can pass the ball for success and limit turnovers, I think they'll continue their success offensively. There's no reason to believe they won't. They're yet to be held under 20 points and have scored over 35 points in five of their six games. The main concern for Creekside is the defense. While the offense has gone out and been close to dominant this year, the defense has had their struggles. The Knights this season have struggled against mobile quarterbacks especially, and you look at the numbers that quarterbacks have put up against them on the ground, over 300 yards, five touchdowns. Riley Trujillo is a very mobile quarterback. He's rushed for over 300 yards this touch this season. Three touchdowns and over seven yards per carry. I think a lot of responsibility is going to fall on the Knights linebackers to not only keep Trujillo in check, but also the Bears' number one running back, Latham Biddle. While the Bears have three different guys who have gotten a decent amount of carries this season, Biddle's been the lead back. He's, very pow he's a powerful runner. But he's also got a real explosive ability to him. You can't give him space or he's going to make you pay on offense for the Bears. you also see Gavin Cook-Williams and Sean McElroy getting carries, as well as a, potentially a couple other players they'll occasionally mix in. Bartram will throw a lot of motion and RPOs at you to try and keep the defense on their heels and get to the outside part of the field. Bartram has run the ball 76% of the time this season. 60% of their total offensive yardage has come off the run. 
16 of their 21 offensive touchdowns. Yeah, that was on the ground. If you want to stop this Bartram offense, it's all about slowing down the run game. That is how they win their football games. If Creekside can slow down the run, they'll be looking good in tonight's game. If you can't make it out to tonight's game, well, be sure to tune in on NFHS Network as I'll be calling the game live. This is one you don't want to miss. Kickoff is at 7 o'clock. Again, if you can't make it out, tune in on NFHS Network. If you can make it out, get here early. Last year, the line two miles long to get into Bartram Trail High School. It's going to be a packed house. It's going to be an electric atmosphere and a great game. Now on to our next segment where I talk with two night seniors who have played against Bartram multiple times. And this year, they want to come away with a win. Let's check it out. Brendan, I want to start off by talking to you a little bit about your performance last year. You had one of the best games of your career. We're going to say 200 yards receiving, a touchdown, nine interceptions. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, how, do you, how are you looking to replicate that? And how are you able to get open and find holes in that defense? Um, so last year we did a lot of now, now, like now routes. So I used to find a space and running hitches and add on like Aggies and stuff and used to run like a bunch of speed outs so I can get yards after the catch. Nathan, you guys as a unit held a tough Bartram Trail offense to 16 points last season. Yeah. How are you going to look to replicate that success this time around? Um, I just think we got to play as a team and just play for each other, you know, and just be physical every play, you know, because that's, that's when we, like, do good. Like, against Mandarin this year, we, we played good. We held up as a unit. I just think as we, as, if we play for each other, we'll be straight. Uh, what separates this matchup from the rest of your rivalry games? Um, it's down the road. We have a... A lot of beef with them, and not a lot of people like them that go to Creekside. And plus, we have a lot of friends over there and like people we know. So it's gonna be a good game. Can you describe what it's like to be on the field in an atmosphere like the, the one Creekside and Bartram presents? It's, it's amazing. Like when you're in a big rivalry game like that, it really means something. Like, and you're just playing with a lot of emotion. Like every play, it's just it's it's good. And in a rivalry game like this. Brandon mentioned it, you guys have a lot of friends, people you know on the other side. Who are you most excited to face on that Bartram team? Yeah, I'm not really friends with anyone on the other team, but like I'm excited to play Riley Trujillo because like, you know, he, he's a big name, he has a lot of offers. So I'm excited to compete against him. I like to verse Sharif. Good test. Yeah. All right, and then uh, you face Bartram two times in your varsity career. Each time you've fallen just short that 50 to 40 shootout back in 2020, and then last year, heartbreaker field goal. What would it mean to you to knock them off this season? It would be good. Haven't beat them in eight years. And um, yeah, man, it's always good to beat your eye release. So absolutely it'll feel good. Uh, it mean a lot because like, you know, the past like three years I've been at Creekside, like we lost to them in like close, like heartbreaking games, but it's, it's gonna be a lot. Big thanks to Brennan and Nathan for taking the time to sit down with me. Now on to my next segment where I chat with the star on the other side, Sharif Denson had that big time pick that led to the game winning drive against Creekside last year. And this year, well, he wants to come in, get another win, obviously. I got the chance to talk with him at Media Day in August. Here's our chat. First up, Sharif, I uh, want to start off with the Creekside Knights and Bartram Trail rivalry. You had the big game winning pick last year. Or that's how I consider it since it led the game winning drive. Uh, can you talk about that play and what it means to you? Yeah, man, just, we, it was coming down to it. We needed to make a play, and uh, I had to come out and make, do something, make something happen. But um, my, my teammates around me just made that happen, just pushing me through practice, making sure I'm on my stuff at all times. And then the Creekside Bartram rivalry, Battle of Longleaf, nothing much compares to it, especially, you know, the rivalry between the schools, you guys know each other, uh, a lot of you guys. Can you talk about what the rivalry in general means to you and your team? Yeah, the rivalry is deep. Like Everybody from the schools, like, it's not like it's actual hatred throughout the, the people in the school, but it's just like when that game comes, like, you, you on your side and it's on their side, you see what I'm saying? Like, nah, but I love it, though. The rivalry game is always the best game. It's the most competitive. It's going to always have the, the funnest turnout, like the end yeah. of the score. It's always going to be crazy. The fans going to always go dumb. So I'm just excited this year. Man, it was a two, like two miles it took the line to get in last year. That was really incredible. And then this season, visiting Creekside, you know, how you, hoping to get that upset win? Most deaf, most deaf. I'm trying to 
take it from them right at their home. Okay. All right, that's a good broadcast note right there. <laughs> and then uh, you, you, Trayon Marcus, just made big headlines committing to Florida. What led you to commit there and set them apart from the rest? Well, um, they just they needed a class starter, and I feel like I could be that person, like that person who can recruit and get whatever guys that uh, Coach Napier and Coach Tony is trying to get, but as well as just that that's my home that's my home team for real like, i liked them since i was a kid and then both my parents went there and then with the addition of uh corey raymond the coach uh the db coach from um, lsu it's just like it's, it's a no-brainer at that point yeah and you talk about being a gator fan there for a second um you know did you imagine playing there as a kid and ever go through that scenario really i didn't like i was just when i was young like coming up playing football I was just playing football just because I loved it, just because like, it was so fun. I would just play with my friends, play with my guys. We were just out there pooping for real. Big thanks to Sharif for chatting with me there at Media Day. And now on to our last segment, my matchup prediction. And this is a tough one because, listen, Creekside's been inching closer and closer every year. In 2019, they lost by 14 to Bartram. 2020, here at the Castle, it was a back-and-forth game. It got delayed due to rain for like an hour. It was my first game here. Bartram ended up holding off Creekside 50-40 to in a wild game. Last year, it looked like Creekside finally had him before Bartram came rushing back in that fourth quarter and kicking the game-winning field goal. And this time around, I don't know, can Bartram hold him off again? Listen, Creekside, if they want to win this game, they got to get stops defensively when it matters most. And offensively, I think they'll get the job done. Can they get those stops on defense? I think so. I think Creekside is coming away with a 34 to 30 victory. It's going to be a close one. It's going to be a wild game and a crazy atmosphere. You don't want to miss it. I think Creekside's coming away with the win, though. You're, again, not going to want to miss this game. Be sure to tune in on NFHS Network if you can't make it out. If you do make it out, which I recommend you would, <laughs> Be sure to get here early because last year it was a two mile line, I believe, to get into Bartram Trail. This is going to be a jam packed house and a crazy night. You don't want to miss it. So be sure to come on out, support your respective side. And thank you for watching Creekside Game Day. If you enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe to Schlick Sports. And I'll see you next week here on Creekside Game Day.